All right, hello everyone. Uh, I hope you all had an awesome day and welcome to a quick guide on how you can get your animations from Blender into FF14 as a mod. Um, I will go over the process on how you choose on what you animate on and also on how you get your stuff from Blender into the game. I will not cover how you install various tools and stuff as we already have covered this probably in a different video or we'll make a video later on. However, I will quickly go over the stuff that you're going to need. You obviously going to need FF14. You will need VFX editor, which you can find under Dalamut. You will also need metal, which uh, you can install through a link in the description. You will need Etherblend in Blender, you will need Metal Tools in Blender, and you will have to enable Rigify in Blender, as well as using Blender 4.5 or higher. This is basically what you need. First thing you're gonna need to decide on is what you want to animate on. And what I mean with this is the race you want to animate with. Now, this highly depends on what you want to do. Uh, or what kind of animation you want to replace. A lot of animations in the game are based on Midlander Mail, of course, so it would be preferred that you animate on it. However, I, for my part, I do really like to animate on Mikota Female and simply retarget a lot of the stuff later to the other armatures. And the game itself also has a built-in functionality to retarget it a little bit, though you're gonna like the fine-tuning that you want to have for some races. So just keep that in mind. If you quickly want to know where you want to animate on, simply go and open up VFX editor, click on the PAP tab and choose your animation. In my case, it will be Mikota Female, the idle zero, which we're gonna to tackle today. Click on the little checkbox and then under parameters, you will find the model ID. This is the skeleton where the animation will be based on. So if it says 101, I would suggest animating on Midlander male. If it says 801, I would suggest animating on female Mikote, right? And so forth. Once you have decided on that, you're gonna, of course, want to open up Glamera and swap to your race of choice. Make sure that you're gonna equip gear that is well for animating. Well, so for example, any like big dresses with a lot of stuff, it can get a lot of you know, a little bit tedious to animate on that. So keep in mind that you have something clean on, maybe even naked or just a bra, or if you want to animate specifically um, the bones from coats or skirts, uh, make sure that you have these ones available so that you can have a visual reference for animating these. Once you've done this, I'm quite happy with this one. We're now gonna open up Metal. Now in Metal itself, we don't have to do a lot. Since we are animating with it, we don't really care about scaling or um, C++ whatsoever. We're simply going to hit export all models. Make sure that reference pose is ticked, not reference pose with scale, nor pose, just reference pose. And then we're going to export this one. I'm going to go to desktop and export this one for our tutorial three. There we go. Now this will take a while. All right. Once this is done, a folder will open up. You can safely close it. And now we're already done in FF. Now we can hop into Blender. So simply hit N, look for Etherblend, import character. I'm gonna go to desktop, tutorial three, open up the folder. And in here you will find your character as a GLTF. Since we don't care about any um, scaling and stuff, we can uncheck the apply post track button right here and import. This will simply cut down on import time. All right, once we have our character imported, we can simply select the armature, which is this spiky arrangement of bones right here. Then go over and click on meta, control, and then on link. In the background, this will have created a bunch of different armatures that we can use later on. But for now, this is the armature you want to animate on. And it should work very well. From here on out, you can animate to your heart's content. And the pose that is reflected in here will also later be 
reflected in game. So again, this is not a guide on how to animate in Blender itself as there are multiple resources for it. And I would like to send you to a nice Discord that has a bunch of FF14 animators on it and they will definitely be able to help you if you have any questions in regards to animating itself. So um, for now, I would say I'm quickly gonna do like a still animation and we'll get to you in a second. All right, so we are here. Um, this is the animation that I've made for the little tutorial. Uh, it's just a simple up and down movement, nothing too crazy. And um, yeah. It should work very, very nicely. Once you're done with your animation um, and you have made sure that all your keyframes are present and stuff, uh, you can simply go to File, then Export, and then FF14 Animation GLB. Make sure that your armature is selected. You can be in post mode, that is fine, but your armature has to be the active object. That's the only requirement for it. Click on it. And then we want to save it. I'm going to save it right here. All right, back in FF14, we're going to hop back into the VFX editor under PAP. Now I have already selected my idle right here. Simply select it under loaded PAP and PAP being replaced will be the exact same thing. So now we load the Mikota female idol and we also replace it. Now this is the perfect condition so we can inject our animation. Make sure under animations that you select the right one. Some animations can have multiple tracks so make sure you select the right one here. Now under motion you can find the animation. Click on replace and then select your animation that we just exported. Now here I would suggest making a separate exclusion bone list. Um, if you have animated the ears, like edit ear wiggle, and you want to import this right now onto a midlander male, for example, I would suggest adding the ear bones here as well. Now you probably don't know the ear bones. So if you really want to, you can also hit the skip bones unanimated in original emotion which will simply skip all of the bones that are red right here. But a lot of times I don't really want this, but you can safely do it, right? But if you do know what you do, I would suggest working with a simple exclusion list. You can also make multiple lists for multiple purposes, but for most people, this will be just fine. Just keep in mind, if you imported beforehand anything else on here, where there are bones, well, where there are all bones basically, uh, imported, then this won't work obviously anymore because it always just takes the bones that are here not animated and not what should be not animated. Overall, I can recommend always excluding end root and end throw as these are the bones that are most likely to cause issues later on with camera stutter or anything else that can happen or just in general like character stutter, um, especially when you go from one animation to another. We're just going to select this and then import it. And as you can see, it worked quite well. So check in here. Looks all right to me. Now we can simply update the character, then swap to the anim. And as you can see, it's, it's right here. All right. And that is already it. Um, from here on out, we can simply go export Penumbra, select your PAP file, give it a name and an author, right? and then you're good to go. Now there's obviously a lot more that comes to it on how to do animation mods, um, how to port it to other races and stuff, and also how to add a lot more other stuff. For example, right here, since our character is a little bit higher right now, we are clipping into the nameplate. Now there are options to go and add, for example, a nameplate, which we can do quickly right here. Um, let me quickly set this up, right? Which will then put our nameplate a little bit higher. And all of these tricks and stuff, I would like to teach them, um, but I think it's better to put them into a different video. For now, this is how you can get your animations from Blender into the game. And I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And I hope 
it helped. Again, if you want to see more, like adding VFX, adding, you know, the nameplate control or adding uh, face emotes and stuff, please let me know in the comments or on my Discord. And I would be very happy to see all of your creations.